Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. Thank you. Get your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner in the description of this video. Voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Dinar community. Created by a Denarian, for Denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Iraqi Dinar, Vietnamese Dong, Iranian Rattle, and of course gold and silver, my favorites, and many more. If you decide you want to unleash the full power of the planner, they use the promo code. The Denarian and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded version 8 mobile application added free for my subscribers for a limited time. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today and download your trial copy. I assure you, once you see the planner in action, you will know why it is the number one planner in Dinarland. I also recommend that you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They mount each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone. It is free to register and get yourself all set up for post-exchange gold purchasing. By getting yourself registered today it will be one less thing you will have to worry about doing later. Both the links to the newly upgraded currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today. A close source indicates that the Prime Minister's file is close to choosing this candidate. A political source confirmed, today, Thursday, that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, will assign a person who was previously nominated for Prime Minister to manage this position, while he indicated that this would be in the event that the blocs did not agree on nominating an acceptable figure for the Prime Minister. The source said, the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, will assign the current head of the intelligence agency, Mustafa Akazemi, to head the next government, in case the political forces do not reach a final agreement. He added that, Akazemi is supported by most of the political blocs, noting that, the chances of the other candidates have declined, and they are, Ali Shukri and Mohammed Tafiq Alawi in the past hours. A well-informed source said yesterday, Wednesday, that there is a consensus between the al Sayer and al Fatu coalitions on the nomination of Muhammad Tafiq Alawi for the post of Prime Minister. Next article of interest. Advisor to the Prime Minister. The delay in approving the budget incurred the country significant losses. Advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza Ar Muhammad Sali, confirmed on Thursday that the delay in approving the budget incurred the country significant losses. While a member of the Finance Committee indicated that the delay in the budget would make the country live in a state of economic stagnation. Not approving the budget means delaying the investment of any new projects and relying on spending on current expenditures, Saleh said in a statement to the official Al Saba newspaper. He added that any expansion of government spending for development and economic progress has constraints and delays as the budget delay constrains the financial plan and all the goals that are supposed to be achieved, noting that the budget constitutes about 45 of the gross domestic product. He continued, failure to approve the budget will incur huge losses for the country. On his part, Adnan Alzarfi, a member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, affirmed that the lack of approval of the budget causes the suspension of project financing and the disruption of investment expenditures. He added, the delay in the budget will make the country live in a state of economic stagnation and this will be applied to all sectors. Next article of interest. Iran cannot access $5 billion of its energy money in Iraq. Official. Iraq relies on Iran for trade and natural gas that generates as much as 45% of its electricity. 
Iran's money from exports of gas and electricity has piled up to $5 billion in the bank account in Iraq, but Tehran cannot transfer it because of the U.S. sanctions, an official says. Iraq relies on Iran for trade and natural gas that generates as much as 45% of its electricity, but the United States is trying to pry Baghdad from Tehran's orbit. The sanctions are now giving Iran a run for $5 billion, sedimenting at the Central Bank of Iraq because Tehran cannot access it, spokesman for Iranian Oil, Gas and Petrochemical Products Exporters Association, OPEX. Hamid Hosseini said Wednesday. The U.S. has been enlisting its companies and allies such as Saudi Arabia to replace Iran as Iraq's source of energy, but no practical solution has been developed and deployed yet. Instead, Washington has had to grant the Iraqi government repeated exemptions and allow the Arab country to keep trade with Tehran. While the Iranian gas and electricity has continued to flow, the revenues have accumulated and continued to sit unused in bank accounts in Iraq. Iraq, U.S. clash over Iran energy imports, paper. Iraq has clashed with the U.S. over the demand that Baghdad stop buying energy from Iran, the New York Times reports. The two countries have agreed that Iraq's government deposit the money in the Iraqi dinar at an escrow account, but they have not found yet a mechanism for its transfer. This is because Iran is cut off from the global payments network SWIFT which removed the Islamic Republic from the financial system in 2012 as a result of American pressure. Hosseini said Iran's private exporters have no problem for repatriation of their money, but the conditions for transferring revenues from exports of electricity and gas are different. Official statistics in the 10 months up to January showed Iran exported $8 billion in goods to Iraq, he said, adding recent protests in Baghdad and other cities had slashed bilateral trade. However, the increase in exports to Iraq's semi-autonomous Kurdistan region which is undergoing a flurry of reconstruction and development activity has made up for the decline. The Iraqi Kurdistan is a major customer of Iranian oil products which are offered on the commodities exchange in Tehran. Next article of interest, only Bitcoin and digital currencies will survive. Fund Manager Multicoin Capital's managing partner Tush Ajain tweeted on 27 January that fiat currencies issued from economically challenged smaller countries will be on the verge of extinction soon and we might be left with a few central bank digital currencies, CBDC, from economically strong countries and Bitcoin, in the next decade. If this scenario plays out, we might be left with some crypto and few national currencies issued mostly from stable and strong countries. Some of the biggest losers over the next decade will be the mismanaged currencies of smaller nations. The combination of Bitcoin and central bank digital currencies issued by large stable nations will greatly reduce the number of national currencies in the world by 2030. Tush Ajain. What are central bank digital currencies? CBDC. A novel concept. These digital currencies can be considered as the equivalent of fiat but on blockchain, issued and managed by the central banks. They would operate in the same centralized manner as most fiat and their supply plus other parameters would be tightly regulated by the monetary governing body of a country. Central Bank Digital Currencies, CBDC, would be declared as the legal tender. Today, CBDCs don't exist in a proper way or form. However different countries are already considering and researching the concept. According to a survey by Bank for International Settlements, BIS, 66 central banks were polled if they were working on CBDCs and how close are they to accomplishing it. The results were astonishing, 80% of the central banks responded that they were involved in some form of work regarding CBDCs while 10% said that they are very CLOS equal TO issuing CBDC, even though the report doesn't explicitly mention any names. China, Japan, England, Hong Kong, Thailand and Bahamas have been reported to be in advanced stages of research and development for CBDCs. 
Tushaw also noted in an earlier tweet that CBDCs are closer to reality than we realize and once the first CBDC is launched and becomes readily available, it will create an avalanche effect, which will drive the competition among central banks to launch theirs next. He stated that some of the smaller nations can even be convinced to launch their digital currencies on an existing public blockchain, a scenario which is likely to cause the value of the blockchain to skyrocket. Once the first CBDC is launched and widely available, there will be a mad rush amongst other central banks to launch their own. Some of the smaller nations may even be convinced to launch their CBDC on top of a public chain like Ethereum or Cosmos. Tusha Jine. How does that spell doom for most fiat? It's no secret that global financial system is feeling the heat with economic crises, brewing in different parts of the world regularly and persistently. After the recent demonetization in India, the hyperinflation in Venezuela, protest in Lebanon over economic conditions, turmoil in Chile and Argentina are signs that current system is showing signs of stress and internal implosion. Venezuelan Bolivar was a case study in hyperinflation, if other fiat currencies from smaller and mismanaged economies were to follow suit with large-scale currency depreciation, there might come a time when they would go completely extinct. This can be a result of loss of their purchasing power, lack of public's trust in them and the arrival of better means to settle trade or pay debt. This isn't likely to happen tomorrow, because the system still has certain safeguards and power behind it. But it isn't such a far-fetched thing also, in the long run. Bitcoin and CBDC's Yuri Prediction In such a scenario, Digital currencies from bigger and more stable economies might be able to take over the new financial system, in such a manner that the number of overall currencies used in the world, will decrease and be reduced to only a few types. A mix and match of few cryptocurrencies and few issued digitally from central banks of larger countries. It is also within the realm of possibility that some of these central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, might be backed by a digital asset such as Bitcoin and other potential crypto assets, mainly highly stable DeFi products, also. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. This package will only be available for a limited time, so go for it, pick up yours today. With the currency exchange planner on your team, the banks don't have a chance of taking advantage of your newfound wealth. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold back into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad. The dollar I assure you will not. Did you know that the dollar only has 0.0389 cents purchasing power left when compared to its original purchasing power when the dollar first came out? Fiat currencies are based on debt and are designed to fail over time. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, over and out, the Denarian.